Hey, what is up heroes and welcome back to some more Pokemon Prison. Last episode, we got the 14th and 15th gym badge. Today we're going to get the 16th gym badge. Pretty cool last episode because the 15th gym badge was actually silver from Gold, Silver, Crystal, which is pretty cool. And you guys told me that the gym is actually on Route 57, which we can get by heading east from this town. So we're going to surf around and uh, see what we can find on the way. Go for the forest and find this hidden gym. Which uh, I'm looking forward to, and I'm gonna fight a few people on the way. Level 81, ooh, a few signal beams. Got the confusion, it hurt itself, nice, and we can take this out, that'll be a lot of XP. Ooh, and a Gyarados, right, I'll go straight into Laxis for a nice Thunder Fang. And then we have a Sea King we can probably maybe beat. Nope, Flail's gonna take me out, it's fine. Just run back and heal up so it's not a problem. 67. I'm gonna go a little bit further on. Try to get as much XP as possible. And what is in this house? Oh. Is this. No, this can't be the. Uh, the house that takes you towards Moraga Town? Maybe it is. Okay, we don't want to go this way. So let's head back down and continue on. That is not the right way. Look at me, backstroke. Go for it. We got Volt Absorb. Okay. Well, we have Volt Absorb as well. So let's get some psychics. Amnesia. Oh, that's great. Let's put you to sleep. Does it affect you? Okay. That's annoying and. We might lose this battle unless Earthquake can do a bit of damage. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, Porion. All these water types are just gonna destroy me. I do wonder what the uh, the last gym leader of this region's type's gonna be. I wonder who it's gonna be as well. Because last time it was Silver, which is pretty awesome. Maybe we'll see some more familiar characters at some point. And Melodic will just go for some Dragon. Horses. Oh, I should have a headbutt. We outspeed a might flinch it. Stop going for recover. Drain punch does more damage. And oh, this thing's gonna keep recovering. Oh, this is the worst battle ever. Okay, I'm gonna have to revive Alexis. And then fully restore him so when he comes out, I can hopefully paralyze it or something. One thing. Stop recovering, Melodic! There we go. That was the worst battle I think I've ever had in this game so far. Man, that was so annoying. How much further we gotta go? Because sometimes this game makes it look like it's really far away, but usually it's like really short distance. Alright, where does this take us? Route 57? Route 57, exactly where we want to be, and here is the gym! Very easy to uh, find. So, Pokemon Gym Leader, Joe, the most normal trainer you'll ever meet. Okay, so he's got to be a normal type, so Lucario can go in on this gym. I don't want to run back and heal up, so I'm just going to use my revives. And we have 27 left. No reason not to. And we can just Drain Punch or Lucario get the HP back. Alright, let's go do this. Oh, is this it? Hello there, my name is Joe, the normal gym leader of Raijon. I am so normal that all of the uh, abnormal people left my gym. This place is now all mine, and very normal. Well, are you ready for a normal battle? Uh, yeah, sure. This average Joe. Okay, what's he got? He's got a ferret. I have not seen one of them in a long time. Level 69, he's a really weak gym leader though. I mean, it's good for us. Fun fact, you guys should definitely look up the size of Furrets compared to the trainer, because those things are a lot bigger than you would think. And you see the size of Sentra and then you see the size of that and you're like, wow, the, that's a big size difference. Alright, got a Kangaskhan. Level 71. I mean, it's fine, I'm just going to Drain Punch absolutely everything and should be like the easiest gym battle. 
since the fifth one. Oh, Earthquake. It's fine. Should be the easiest gym battle since, what, the fifth gym, where we just drain and kiss the whole team. Essentially the same thing, because drain punch is just, you know, the fighting equivalent. Instead of kissing, we're punching. So once we get this, that's all... Well, not there's 20 badges in the game, but we have all eight badges of this region. So we head back to Seashore City, go to the lab. The professor there said she'll give us something if we got all eight badges. Which I'm assuming is a pass, because I know in this game we can go to Jodo, and we can go to Tunon, which is the uh, region from Pokemon Glazed, which is really cool. And oh, Pidgeot, that, that's, that's going to screw us over a little bit. Uh, let's go Articuno. But we can't explore all of Jodo, or um, Tunod, well, I think it's like only one or two areas. And I think that Kanto as well is. I think we can go to one place in Kanto. But still, this game is a lot of uh, a lot of regions. Think about it, it's like five regions we can go to. Two full regions and just part of three other regions, which is cool. And Brave Bird, too strong. Let's go for a nice rock slide. Goodbye, Pidgeot. And we get level 68. And the last Pokemon's a Snorlax, which we can again just. Just Drain Punch. Level 76. Whew. Got four left. That's plenty. Earthquake. We can maybe live that? I don't know. Earthquake from a Snorlax, which is level 76. Might kill us. Oh, we lived it just about, though. Whew. Max Potion. Okay, well, I'm going to get full health again, pretty much. Critical hit, living 1 HP. And we have full health from that. Wow. And the Sandstorm's going to finish it off. And we're level 68, so there we go. This is abnormal. You are killing my normal vibes. Please take this badge and leave. Hey, got the white badge. Take some of the normal home with you. Okay, TM15. Don't know what that could be. Hyper Beam. Okay, strong, but normal attack. So now we have 16 badges. All looking pretty good. The normal badge is just literally a plain circle. <laughs> so, it looks like the next gym leaders are Bugsy, Whitney. Obviously, we're battling uh, Johto. Then I assume maybe go to Kanto after Johto to go. It looks like Sabrina, I want to say. Then 20 is. Red. I think it's red anyway. It looks like red. Uh, so let's fly to Seashore City. And go and see the professor repel war off. That's fine. Was it Seashore City? No, it wasn't, was it? It's not this town. It's uh, Gravel Town. Gravel Town's where we want to go. Yeah, there we go. This is the town. Amazing! You're able to collect all of the Raijuan badges. Take this ticket, head to Castro Valley's port, and take the ship to the Battle Arcade. Okay, so we can go to the Battle Arcade. Castro Valley port. I'll also uh, let you have one of these. Newly hatched Pokemon. Hey, a trainer as skillful as yourself should be able to raise one of them right. Okay, so they're definitely starter Pokemon. We've got the fire, water, grass, and they're going to be Gen 1 starters. So Bulbasaur, Squirtle, or Charizard. Ooh, what? who should we take? Who should we take? I kind of want to replace Articuno. I mean, we need a fire or sort of flying type, so probably Charles will be the best. I know I choose Charles up pretty much all the time, but Charmin is like my go to. So, yes. The only problem is, I can't. I can't grind. Like, as you guys know, there's like no place to grind in this game. And how am I going to get level 5 to level 70? This is going to take too long. Too long, and then nowhere to do it. But still, let's just take the Charmander. Although, I do know where one legendary Pokemon is. We can potentially get in a little bit, but let's head to the Battle Arcade first. I want to see what that's like. So Castro Valley, I believe, was yeah, just here. Let's quickly heal up after that battle, because we got destroyed. Well, not destroyed, we got 
bit unhealthy from Joe. And down this way should lead to the the docks. Hey, what up? Welcome to the arcade ferry. Do you have a ticket? I do. Wonderful. Would you like to board and head to the battle arcade? Yes, I would. Great. We'll depart right now. Oh, Route 86. So where are we on the map? Oh, we're up here. Okay. Battle Arcade has an interesting concept. Good luck. Thank you. If, you're, if you surf north, uh, you'll end up to the Battle Arcade. Wait, what? We've got a surf from here? Another long bridge. Battle Arcade. Oh, we're here now anyway. Okay, can I even... So I can surf around here. Battle Arcade, what up? The battles you encounter are completely randomized. The more fights you win in a row, the more arcade tickets you get. You can exchange them for some cool stuff. Ooh, where can I exchange these? Let's get rare candy to 25. Have a stone. Oh, a stone found in Mount Coronet. Silver powder, a razor fang, razor claw, dragon fang, friend ball, max revive. Mystery ticket. Let you fly to the mystery zone. We actually need to get that. And that's 300. So, uh. Cost 500. How do, how do we do this? Instructions. Run out of parties until your party faints and you can't, can't continue. Your PP will be restored between battles, but your party will not be otherwise healed. Okay. So we need 300 points. So let's go for one. Gotta take in Lucario, you, and then Lilith. Oh, we can just wait. I didn't choose Lucario, Raptor, Lilith. Yes. Okay. Hopefully, this is pretty easy. <laughs> Battle Arcade PC. Level 50, okay. Well, I've got a Drain and Punch, so we can just keep getting our HP back. This could, we don't get any XP, which kind of sucks, though. I said this would be a good place to grind. But it seems not. Okay. 51 Shinx. Oh, we're not going to get healed up from the paralysis, are we? Can't use items. Oh, this sucks. Stupid Amphrost, that stupid fire punch. Rally camp. Oh, what a fool. Hoping after, like, once. We'll play until we, uh. We lose. But I want to see how many points we get. There's that like, 2,000 points, and then. Man, we'll be buying that mystery ticket, and we'll be buying so many rare candies just to level up. Oh my god, let's go back. Shroomish, we'll just go for a nice earthquake. Crunch. Charmeleon Earthquake. Okay. Oh, we can beat that. Oh, Sturdy, that sucks so much. These random battles, man. Pretty cool, but really annoying. Okay, so tickets won 18. And we have to get 300. Which is uh, a lot, but we don't need it right away. We want this... Pretty much, we want the 300 tickets for the last thing we're going to do in this uh, in this game. We want to get the next four badges. But the problem is, I don't know where to head next. Alright, so we can go north of Laurel City. Potentially east. But that takes us to the um, Rydron region. We, I think we just want to go north from uh, Laurel City, see what that takes us. We'll do that next time. So thank you guys for watching. Off screen, I'll grind the uh, the battle arcade to get the 300 points of the mystery ticket. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.